This one percolate. Here it goes. One of the most anticipated motos. Who's it going to be? It looks like that is the 47. 47. Machine. That's Troubles yep. Kitchen. That's kitchen. That is. Oh, one rider goes down. KTM rider into the number two spot. The number. There's a 68. That's going to be Brendan Walther, I believe. And the 95 out of Texas. And that's Hunter Yoder up there oh, in that uh, number two Yoder ride, it looks like. Spot. It looks like he put himself into second. Yeah, absolutely. Where is Jet Reynolds at? Holy cow. Where's Austin Black? Looking for the Brandon hitman. Shearer. Yeah, Luca Marcus Marcelisi. Marcelisi. Yep, absolutely. It's Colin cool. Park, where's he at? So Levi Kitchen picking right up where he left off at some of our spring nationals. Yeah, having some injuries and a much anticipated return, as you said, going to make his exit following this. Yep. Exit stage left. One rider made the exit right there, stage left on the 27 Club MX ride. Yeah. Brandon Scherer. So Walther coming into contact with the number 95 of Hunter Yoder. Yoder will move into the number two spot. Another rider goes down the front end, tucks there. So they are all in right now. 250 Pro Sport first lap now. That's what we're watching. Walther out of Texas. Yoder out of California. That's for second and third. The Honda and the Yamaha. But all the while, Levi Kitchens is dipping out. We'll try to get a visual on the 79 and the 86 of Hymas. There's our first Suzuki rider. Is that Austin Black? I believe it might be on the number 80 machine. No, that's Preston Kilroy. Nice. What's Kilroy making it happen? Where is Jet if, Reynolds? Jeez. If you're Levi Kitchens, this is exactly what the doctor ordered. Oh, yeah. Get the whole shot, have that clear track, put all that off time, uh, coming off that injury, all that training to good use here. As we say, sprint in that early lap. And uh, There's Jet Reynolds in seventh, so it's a good time to be Levi Kitchens. You're right. Hunter Yoder second, Walter third, Austin Black fourth, Kilroy fifth, Trevor Smith sixth, Jet Reynolds seventh, Christopher Blackmere eighth, Brandon Shearer ninth, and Matthew Curler rounds out your top ten. Jack Chambers just outside the top ten. B Ray and Amron back in 16th and 17th. Wow. We got some work to do. Going to be some tough passing up through there. Uh, I tell you, you really needed to start in this one. It's always critical in every race, but this pro sport, yeah. man, oh man, when you take a look at the uh, hey, the top 15 right here, it, it's going to be tough to make a pass inside there. Well, this is why Bobby Jack Reagan Rogers. chose Levi Kitchen. It's a complete yep. package. It's racing, it's sprint laps, it's getting yep. starts, it's fighting his way through traffic. The kid's got all the tools. And he is proving why they invested in him. That is absolutely 100% right. When we take a look a little further back in the field, you see guys like Jack Rogers back there in 21st right now. Uh, Block some Sasso, Gray, uh, all those guys, man, not what they were anticipating, having to put this much work in this early. Chance Hymas back there in 38. Oh, that's unbelievable. Chance Hymas probably in the pecking order of the number three guy out here on the racetrack. Jace Kessler, 41st. Yeah. So here comes the number 80 of Preston Kilroy as he's working his way around Hunter Yoder. That might be for the number two spot. I think it is. There's Levi Kitchen. He will touch down first from about 1,000 feet in the air on the 47-star racing Thor Yamaha and Kilroy. Man, as he made some moves from fifth to second in one lap. Yoder goes to third. And here comes Jet Reynolds, folks. He's coming. He's going to work his way around. Brendan Walter out of Texas. But you cannot spot Levi Kitchens five seconds on the first lap. No, not going to work. Absolutely not. No matter who you're going to pass in front of you, as, as Reynolds or anybody else, when you give Kitchen five seconds. Yeah, not going to work. No. So here's how this normally shakes down. If you're a talented guy like Jet Reynolds, you spot a guy five seconds, you're in eighth place. What typically happens is you ride, you override, and you wind up hitting the dirt once or twice. You get third, fifth, or whatever, and it's just not – you're racing with guys you're not normally racing with. That's 100% true. We'll see if Jet's matured enough to not do that. Think championship. Make the passes. Take your time. You got plenty. Of you're not going to win this thing more than likely. It would take something really special for you to run down Levi Kitchen. But you can go down and pick off as many guys as you can. Exactly. And maybe hope for a mistake. There he goes. He's picking them off left and right, though. He's right in the hunt. 
into the Ten Commandments. We're following right oh. alongside the 79er Jet Reynolds as he's up to fourth. He's got Hunter Yoder right in front of him, and then it's Kilroy and then Kitchen. I think that was Jack Chambers just a couple spots back trying to make some moves, trying to get up there and ride with those guys. Luca Marsalisi now has himself into the top ten as of the last lap, so he's got his work cut out for him. Not the greatest starter in the business. The guy works hard on him, but uh, I got to tell you, it seems like always fighting an uphill battle. So there he is. Jet Reynolds is on the move. We knew he'd pass these guys. We knew he is right there. He's got the speed to match with Levi Kitchens. He would love nothing more than to come off the gate with Levi Kitchens. He has to look to his left and find him. What do you got? Hey, we need Amanda Abbott. Amanda Abbott, please come to the MX Sports office. Shane Abbott is there. He got lost. Shane Abbott is at the MX Sports trailer. So Amanda, please come to the MX Sports trailer. Shane is here and he's in good hands. He's over there awesome. playing with Sophie the Puppy, I'm sure. Oh, he's good. He's good to go. Following alongside. The number 79 of Jet Reynolds, he ate some snacks earlier over at Ryan Cunha's RV when I was having lunch with him. And now he's about to eat up Hunter Yoder right in front of him. Dude, he's sitting on wow. a podium right now. One pass and he's up into a podium spot after starting outside the top 10. Jet Reynolds says, Kevin Kelly, you could shut up. I can win this. <laughs> so just shut your mouth. Shut your mouth when you talk to me. And there it is. Reynolds into the number four spot. And he's about to be third. There he goes right alongside the billboards. He's got Hunter Yoder right in front of him. He needs to make this pass as quickly as possible. And it's, oh, and he wow. almost goes down right in front of the mechanics area. That bike should have gone down. He defied physics, he, stayed up. He just went into the gas and said, we're going to fight this all the way to the ground. It found an edge, and that's all he wow. needed to keep her on two wheels was See, a small edge. Slow down to go fast. Isn't that what they say, man? See, this is what wow. I'm talking about. He, he, you get in your head, you get a little ragged there, and you make yep. a mistake, and next thing you know, you're picking yourself up off the ground. So that 100% was mental. It was right there. He I just so. he was thinking too far ahead. All Already right. had a pass made in his head. This is a great battle, though. You've got Yoda right in front, and Austin Black, Brandon Walter. They're not going anywhere. Oh, Jet, a little out, off center there. Kevin, what we wanted, we wanted this thing as close to a national track as possible for these guys. Look at the ruts going in that is nasty. To, to the Bermuda Triangle. That is so nasty. Look at the back section back here. It is just getting deep, steep walls on the side of those yeah. roofs. What hey, happens then? You know that. It you grabs go, those tires, it grabs sure. those wheels. Look out. The 55 of Austin Black has latched onto the 79 of Jet Reynolds. He doesn't care what name is on the back of that jersey. Reynolds needs to make this pass right now or Austin Black's going to get them both. He's yeah. going to do it maybe on the inside. No, and you got to watch out. Oh. That's it. That's two big mistakes. He gets past trying to make a pass. Absolutely. Another one of those mental mistakes. He overthought that right there. He absolutely overthought it. He was in position to make the move. Just grab too much break and now go back to work again. Hit right. the reset button. Take a breath. And get back to where we were and try to make the pass again. Yeah, he's got some work to do now. Not making the passes maybe as quickly as he wanted to. A 155.7 for Levi Kitchens. He's only 12 seconds out front yeah. after four laps of racing. <laughs> With four laps in. Jeez. So right past us here, our leaders have flown past. Levi Kitchens is already out of the mechanics area. He came in for a tire change and topped it off and ate a couple of bites of a hot dog. So Jet Reynolds has all the talent in the world. He's got to get it all together here, not get too frazzled. It, and, and it's a common story amongst a lot of our top competitors, a lot of top athletes in both amateur and pro, you know, got to get it together, got to put the package together, it takes a little time. And hey, there's uh, an art to losing. It is hard to lose mentally after you've won so much. He spent two straight years here winning every moto he entered. That's so exactly right. There's an art to being able to figure out how to handle a loss. And, and he is sorting all that out. He's coming back from two years worth of injuries right. or more. Right. And, and not a small nagging injury, different injuries. Big ones, yeah. You know, yeah. Two or three big ones that kept him out of Loretta's for a couple of years. So last year we know he was right there in the hunt, tipped it over while leading. So we know what he's capable of. He had he was on his way to being the all-time winningest rider right. before turning pro was Jet Reynolds. So he knows how to win. Levi Kitchens hey. knows how to win. He is 16 seconds out front of Preston Kilroy on that Bar X ride. His best lap, a 155.3 on lap two. He just turns down a 155.7 wow. on lap four. Sick. Here they come around the big sweeper. Yoder holding his own, man. Keeping Austin Black sort of, kind of, maybe behind him. Not anymore. Austin Black will do it the long way right around the outside. Austin Black will get around Hunter Yoder for the moment. Yes. 
And, and there's a bobble by Yoder, and I think Jet Reynolds will slip right past him. There and he it does. was. Yep, Reynolds was in the same frame. He put himself back up into the position he was two laps ago. So here we go again for the number 79 machine. And all these kids you're watching on the screen here still have a chance at your second place rider, Kilroy, who's just clearing the turn there, entering there. So a long way to go here as we hit the 10 minute mark. Yeah, exactly. Cross flags are out. We're going 20 minutes plus two with our 250 Pro Sport class. There is Jet with two T's up and over the Tunnel of Love. He's got some work to do. He's settled in, though. He's kind of calmed down yep. after those frantic couple of uh, laps for Jet. He's now kind of figuring it out. Austin Black got around him after he made that mistake, and now he's zapped that lead, and he's going to catch him, it looks like. Yeah, there was no question the rear, rear end of the bike was just getting too loose, uh, whether in the whoops or the smooth corner, you know. He was just overriding the bike a little bit. Like you said, I think he took a deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth, you know, thought about it for a second. Now look at this. Back He's under coming. control, back in form, and closing that gap right back up. There he goes. He'll triple, triple here. Triple again. Now he's getting the flow back. If you can find a flow here, it's tough, man. It's a rough, humbling motocross track, dude. If you can ride here well, you can pretty much ride anywhere in America. It's tough. Yeah, deep, that, deep rut there. The foot off the peg, man. That thing keeps snatching his foot back. Have you noticed that? Well, Does he need to get that leg up like Adam Cincerillo with the high leg kick? Back in the day, AC's foot was above the radiator in every turn. That, that and you was noticed the deal. Jets, yes. Right. That was the rule, though, was the knee brace was on the radiator guard. That was the rule. Yeah, absolutely. But Jet seems to be the, the foot drags behind him every time he comes out of a turn. Doesn't even put his foot down that time, so shut up to me, so I get it. I'm not sure I've seen that big move out of the water the works there, to be quite nice. honest with you, from the outside like that. Hey, Brendan Scherer is this. coming on the 73, that Club MX ride. Look at him go. He gets around Hunter Yoder as well. He was lights out at his regional. I got the opportunity to call that race, so Shara was the class of the field at the Southeast Regional. Gets around Yoder out of California. Both those kids out of California originally, but Shara now calls Club MX home. Look at that. The bike just dances. It, it, you don't get a chance to relax. No, no, absolutely You're not. You're always fighting the bike, trying to steer it with your hips. And when you're trying to make that time up, man, that focus, uh, it, it's just gonna be interrupted. Taking a look right here, Shar, oh. man, still under attack. He's right going behind, after him. Yeah, right behind him and Yoder. Uh, Walter on that number 68 machine. Quietly working his way up the number 72, Marcelini now taking over with that seventh spot from Walter, putting him back sure into did. the number eight position. So uh, Marcelini quietly putting himself in position here in moto number one. So Bobby Reagan just enjoying his investment. He's like, that's my boy right there. Yes, he is. Wiley Whoa. Coyote. Wow. Big time by Black right yeah. there. Kept it together. Look at that. I've never seen mid-corner Huck a buck leaned over. You will so. out here, huh? So <laughs> he's able to triple here. Black triples comes up comes up short, though. Great shot there. Are you guys at home going, why? What, what's the deal? Why do they look like they're so slow? That track is brutal. Look at these ruts right here. And the ones they just exited in that last right-hander are absolutely insane. And when we say we've got the best drone operator in the business, there's no, no question. If you're watching that uh, coverage on racertv.com, there's proof of it right there. Yeah, you train for this stuff. Jet Reynolds continue. There's that triple there. It goes outside. Not sure it's any faster, though. Not able to make any time up. If you come up short, it's not any faster. Not at all. 6.30 right now, 6 minutes 30 seconds left on the race clock. Kilroy comfortable in the number two spot. He's six seconds now out front you know, of Austin he, Black. That's exactly right. He looks comfortable. Look at him. Uh, over the center of the bike again. Doesn't look like he's spent. Looks like he's got plenty left in the tank. Yeah, there's Kilroy there. And then there's Reynolds coming around with Black mirror on the 55 gas gas. There goes Kilroy right in front of us on the number 80. Wow. And Shara is not going away. Oh, absolutely one, not. No. One problem there, and he will have the 79 of Jet Reynolds right there and you for know, the taking. I remember years past, Shara, no matter what position it was, it was to the finish. It was, you know, it was bar to bar. It was never a big gap with him in any position. Oh, no, he'll go. You know? Ah, well, we'll try again next time. <laughs> exactly. None of that business. Oh. So Jack Chambers trying to climb up in there as well. He's up to ninth. Looks like some of our, naturally, some of our lap times have leveled out here a bit, Kelly. Uh, looking at our top 10, 
Hymas now. Chance Hymas working his way up there. Look at him turning two minute laps. Uh, Chambers ahead of him a 204. Walter a 206. Marcellisi a 203. Has Hymas found something here? Does he have something left in the tank? Well, heck yeah. He was in 34th and now he's 10. Look at wow. that, man. Are you kidding me? Chance Hymas has come all the way from 34th to 10th. We we, we saw him work his way through the 20s there, and all of a sudden Ooh. I look up. Yeah, there he is. here this guy is. We wrote him off. No, no, no. Didn't write him off by any means, but I, I'm going to admit that we might have overlooked that position. Sure. And, man. Oh, yeah, he's 34th. Well, we'll talk about these guys. He's not yeah. going to be a factor. Man, well, Christopher Blackmere fighting off Jet Reynolds the entire race. I am tired of watching this. It's exhausting. <laughs> that, you know, five minutes... Well, our clock has stopped here. I gotta believe we're less than that right now. We were 6.30 about the last time around. All right, Jet Reynolds is dangerously close now to Christopher Blackmere. Oh, oh, and Jet almost went down. He had to dab there. They'll jump that big single to roller, and Blackmere knows the number 79. The two-lap board is out. So two laps, and we'll get the white flag next go-around. Here is your running order. Kitchen is 10 seconds out in front of Preston Kilroy. Austin Black barely holding on to third with Jet Reynolds right behind him. Scherer is fifth. Yoder is sixth. Marcellisi seventh. Brendan Walter eighth. Jack Chambers is ninth. And Chance Hymas rounds out your top 10. Another little bobble there. Mistake by the 79. I think every, I don't think there's any way you can ride this track nice and smooth. Listen, if you're gonna ride that pace, Okay. It's going to get wild. Listen, yeah, you're going to be in that one race line or not. And if you're not in that one race line, no, there's no way to ride this track nope. smooth at that speed. So lap traffic now. We're still watching Jet Reynolds try to do something with Christopher Blackmere on that gas gas. You know, it, it's been an absolute blast to watch him ride, you know. But uh, the small mistake. And look at this. He's close. He's, every, got, he's right there. Every time he comes at him, I mean, it's just more action, more entertainment. I mean, this well, is racing right here. Now look at this. Way around the outside. That wow. rider just, wow, he wheelies out of the Wheels left hander there. It. Yeah. Whoa, rider Who's is that? down. 41. The 41 oh, okay. is down. Not one of our leaders. So the white flag about to come out here. And all the while, Christopher Blackmere actually opens it up. That was Cameron Dufault. Oh. He was back there about the 33rd position having his issues. Ooh. Wow. He comes up I, short again. He's all in. Let me tell you something. You keep going to the well, you're going to come up dry sooner or later, man. Well, he's still that. drinking a little bit of water right Ooh, now. so He's he, still getting a sip. You smell <laughs> what the jet is cooking. He is coming, folks. Yeah, go on. What a battle. Best race on the racetrack right now. He's going to tuck in right behind him there, looking for a mistake out of Christopher Blackmere. Man, is he smooth. He came out of that rut and pulled five bite links on Jet Reynolds. I'm not sure what happened. I got to tell you, Black absolutely just uh, impressing me to no end right now. That number 55 machine, he's answering every time. Every time. He is taking the heat right now, being applied to him. And all the while, this guy here, the 47 of Levi Kitchens. Finally, we're gonna show a little bit of Levi doing work out there. The hitman up into the number six spots, quietly doing work, man, bringing himself up. That guy wants top five. I like he knows, it. He, hey, like you said, Regan's told him, hey, there's gotta be a five on that thing or lower if Correct. we're gonna win some medals, we're gonna take some championships home. There is the 47, Levi Kitchens into the 10 commandments. Knows them by heart. And late in the race, here we go. Marcellisi, a 2.02. Hunter Yoder ahead of him, a 2.04. Jet Reynolds next on the list. And the little things that Levi will do, he'll pick the front end up, drop it over the, some of the bumps there. He rides so light on the motorcycle. Weighs the same as just about everybody else, but you don't see the bike smashing down. He's only got a few more turns to go before he will see the checker flag. The white flag is out. There he goes, wheelies out of that one, didn't put his wow. foot down. Are you kidding me? And literally, when the bike rebounded, it, it bounced right out of the rut with both feet on the pegs. Yeah. Those are the things that you can see. I was talking to Will Hahn at Freestone. He was talking about that very thing. That's what this kid does. Yeah, oh, absolutely. There he is, jumps over that little breaking bump. Sets, sets himself, up. yeah, sets Beautiful. himself right into the correct angle. Pop that tear off there, the first of hopefully six moto wins for that young man, Levi Kitchens. Salutes the crowd, the blows a kiss to his girlfriend. One tear off. 
into the left-hander. One more turn remains for the number 47 of Levi Kitchens. He will call this moto done, put a fork in it. Preston Kilroy will hang on for second. And Austin Black trying to hold on to that number three spot. I was calling him Black Mirror the whole time. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. yeah, but his name is Austin it. Black. I know yeah. that other kid is you better believe Christopher it. Black Mirror. It's Austin Black. And it looks like Austin Black has fought off Jet Reynolds. Let me tell you something. Austin Black, impressive ride. I have to tell you right now, that guy, he put his head down. He charged when necessary, put on a mid-race drive, got himself into that number three spot. And then well, one bit down and five to go. Levi Kitchen picking up the gold. Certainly he'll want more than just one, but so far so good. Already debriefing with the massive, or should I say monster, Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha team. Apparently there are some falls that we didn't even know about. How about that? He's still one pretty big. No, stay on up, stay on up. Did you holy that one? Look that way to me. Are we gonna call that a holy? Look that way to me. All right. All right, quick debrief and bench racing session with the team. Levi Kitchen has the Stasic Hole Shot Award. He has the gold medal. He has won the first photo of Pro Sport. Well, the dream continues. It started right here a year ago in the uh, limited B divisions and on a 450, and it has gone 12 months now. Maybe the most hyped guy coming in and you delivered. First of all, that start had to feel good to make your life a little easy, but it was maybe harder than it looked. Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah. Um very grateful to get off to a start like that. I knew I could do it. I pulled uh, chip two, so I was like, all right, let's go. And then rip the start, and, you know, I'm, I always like different conditions, but they watered, like, a lot before that moto, and I don't know. The, the track was just, just weird. I mean, it was hard to find a flow, uh, and I'm not, you know, I, I like it. It's just different than years past. You know, I had to learn it, and I ended up falling, I think, two or three times. Uh, my bike, you know, it took a little bit to get started back there, but... Um, I just tried to hold my composure, man. It was, it was tough. I tightened up pretty bad after I fell a few times. So happy to be up here and be safe. Levi, who do you want to thank, man? Uh, the whole Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha team, my mom and dad, my sister, uh, Justin, for coming out. Uh, and for, like just everybody for getting me up here. I mean, Val, 100%. Thor, Alpine Star, FMF, Joel, he's the man. Uh, and just even Ed Torrance and Danny, you know, giving us a rig to pit out of and stuff. And, everybody else thank you there it is 47 it's number one this time levi kitchen how about that a couple of falls and stalls thanks for making it interesting at least from our perspective we'll talk to our second place finisher the rm army man in the yep grab the uh we'll give you a small one right there uh, we will talk to the number 80. he's been up on the podium quite a bit over the last few years on that bar x chaparral suzuki team and he was solid throughout this one. Let's hear from Preston Kilroy. Come on over here, Preston. Well, good job, man. Uh, you rode solid from what it looked like. Levi said the track was actually pretty tricky. What was it like for you? Yeah, it was like grabby and like the bumps were big and the ruts were long and yeah, just around the track. So. Yeah, considering that, you're okay with second for Moto One? Yeah, I didn't build the greatest out there, so. We'll take second and go back and yeah, see what we need to work on. And then, yeah. What do you want to thank, Preston? Uh, I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, Suzuki Crew, RX, Fly, 100%, EBS, Atlas, Rally, FMF, Twisted, um, just everyone. Thank you. Preston Kilroy, the number 80, second place in Pro Sport. I think it should be the 55 of Austin Black who took third in that one. And he was under some serious pressure uh, the whole way. Like I saw Jet Reynolds hounded him for a while. Yoder was up there for a while. Uh, but we're going to hand out the bronze medal. Just turn around right there. There it is. Let's hear it for Austin Black. Good job, man. They were putting the heat on. You had to ride hard. Yeah, man. Um, I'm happy with the moto finish, but I'm really not happy with my riding. 
I had some nerves built up into that moto, but uh, those are out of the way now, and I'm ready to really show what I'm made of. Uh, put in a lot of work, Jay Whipple, uh, Brock Tickle, and just my whole team just put in so much work in this week, and I'm excited to get on the um, podium the first moto so I can set my uh, week out good. You did that. Who do you want to thank? Uh, AEO, uh, Research into Engineering Performance, uh, Fly Racing, uh, my mom, my dad, my girlfriend, Mechanic Joe, uh, Scott Racing, uh, Mika Metals, VP Racing, EMT Racing, 